Well, Michael, congratulations on a magnificent body of work. Can you tell me a little bit about how it originated? Well, some of the research took me to actually those first fleets that came through, you know, this part of the world, the Pacific Islands and New Zealand and Australia. And Joseph Banks, you know, was a, a very wealthy botanist and he had lots of different artists and, and botanists on board and they actually died as the, as the trip went through. And he took all their original drawings and paintings and gave them to many different artists in London when he returned. And from there the interpretation came for different drawings around, you know, different plant forms. From there that idea kind of sat with me that if you took different plant forms and interpreted them, you could kind of tweak and change the DNA. And that was, I guess, the nucleus for the show. And what I notice about this work is that it's full of colour and is so joyous, but also that there are these recurring motifs. Sure, well they actually end up becoming sort of names. So there's the grace, uh, the chandelier, the DNA, and it really came from drawing. You know, the drawings really evolved from many different sources. So photographs and different books I looked at and formulating those sort of quite iconic shapes together. Yes, they kind of then got sprinkled throughout the work in different colour and shape and form. So I spent a lot of time drawing. Um, um, they're very important to me in terms of that kind of pre-build before the actual painting. Um, and I also look at collage. So playing with different colour, um, you know, all those pr sort of processes are, are very important. The, the research, the drawing, the collage work, before I actually start painting. Um, they, they all kind of have equal measure for me. Um, I love painting and when I get into it, you know, it's quite exciting. There's a lot of emotion that goes into that. And, you know, I, I think as the work went on, I did want to create really happy paintings, you know, that celebrated not only plant form but you know at the moment it's there's a lot of fear out there and it's just I don't know it can be quite depressing and I think there's just this moment in time I feel that when you look at this work it's happy you know they're bright and there's much love that's really gone into them so you know hopefully that translates. You've had a very successful career in publishing but painting now seems to be taking over. Uh, do you see it in that way? Um, I've always painted um, very much at home throughout the years. And I guess um, as we started our own business, that became less and less because your focus is in a very different part of you know, your life and it needs to be. But you know, that's been going for a long time and we've got really talented staff you know, working in the, in the business now. And so that's allowed me time to develop the art practice. And I think there's a lot from those years of working and publishing that I bring to that art practice, you know, the, around deadline and routine and, and sort of setting up, you know, that sort of structure has really helped. And, and then there's just, you know, being surrounded by layouts and looking at composition and colour. I think that doesn't stop, you know, I think that just keeps going no matter what you're doing. And, you know, as I move forward into painting, it's just a, another part of me and, and I love it, you know, I really do.